Hi everyone, Nikki Buckaloo here at Buckaloo Realty Group. And we're gonna discuss the question today, should I buy a house now or wait a year to see if the market changes? What a great question. Should I buy now or should I wait? Uh, really what people are asking is, is it a smart decision for me to purchase? And the answer to that is, it depends. So as you know, there are three different types of markets that we experience when it comes to real estate. So you have a, a buyer's market where there's plenty of inventory, there's a lot of houses to choose from, and buyers can kind of pick and choose and negotiate to their advantage. And then of course there's the seller's market, which right now as I'm recording this video, we're in a seller's market, which means there's hardly any inventory. It's significantly less than normal, what we would consider a balanced market, and I'll talk about that. And so sellers have the negotiating advantage and buyers are struggling a little bit more. The balanced market is what happens in between the pendulum swinging from a seller's market to a buyer's market or vice versa. And the fact is that balanced market is typically very temporary. A balanced market means that here in our area we have about six months of inventory. So a house could be on the market for a very short period of time if priced very competitively or it might be on the market a little longer, three months, four months, five months maybe even six months, depending on a price point that you might be in. So what are the important things to consider whether or not you're thinking, gosh, should I buy now? There are three things. One is the market. Two is the interest rates. You know, people forget about that. As the rate begins to tick up a little bit and you're able to qualify for less house or the house that you want is more expensive because the interest rate is higher, then that can make a difference in whether or not you wanna buy now or basically risk whether or not the interest rates are gonna go up. And then the third thing is always the most important and that is your personal circumstances. Um, do you really need to buy a house in the area because you've just taken a job here and your family wants to be someplace stable, you don't wanna be in an apartment? You know, what are your circumstances? Now, if you're selling and buying, that changes the dynamic too because you're looking at how do I take advantage of this strong seller's market and still purchase a house? Well, the good news is when you hire a strong agent, that agent is gonna be able to guide you and typically also put you in touch with a reputable lender that you can sit down with who will educate you on the numbers. So if you're a numbers person and that's what you're making your decision about, let's make sure that you're measuring the pros and cons with all the information that you need in the moment. I hope that's helpful for you and if you have any questions about whether or not now is the time for you to purchase in this market, give us a call and one of our agents will walk you through all the questions to help you make that decision for yourself. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video.